can unmute yourself now. Brilliant. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. How lovely. Brilliant. How lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Sonny. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight. Well, you are more than welcome. I was absolutely delighted when you said that you wanted to be um, in a spotlight. So it's a my, it's absolutely my pleasure to have you. And before we really get started into the nitty gritty, I'm going to say hello to people that are on live already. So hi, Tara, I can definitely see you. Um, I can't see who's live on the group at the moment, but whoever comes in live, please actually tell us that you're there because what ha what's happening on some of the lives I'm finding is that I can see that someone is there, but I don't know who it is. So until you make a comment, I can't actually see. So do, do make some comments and smash that heart button for us because Helen is very entertaining. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you why soon as well. So smash the heart button, do share, tag your friends in this spotlight interview. So those of you that don't know me, my name is Sunny Love. I help new and existing female entrepreneurs how to build a profitable online business whilst creating a lifestyle of freedom and choice. Yes. And that's what we want. Yes. <laughs> And uh, today on our spotlight session, we have Helen Adams. And Helen Adams, if I give you a little bit of intro. Now, what I really liked about you, Helen, is the fact that you actually put on your bio that you're for midlife female entrepreneurs who give more than an F about their business. Yes. <laughs> and you're the go-to go to page for ambitious female entrepreneurs looking to create the impact and income they desire to live life on their own terms coaching mm -hmm. with a unique blend of mindset and strategy and i know that you've got a massive massive mission and i'm dying yes. to find out about that but before we do i want to know who helen is who are you behind that profile picture and that crazy crazy lady that's been sending me videos of you singing Oh, wow. Thank you, Sonny. That was a lovely introduction. So who is Helen? So from the beginning, I always knew from a young age that I was meant to do something different. I was meant to not be in the same sort of environment as my family were, not growing up, following the same pattern. But I knew I wanted to do something different. And ever since I was a little girl, I always had two things that I loved to do. I loved standing in front of the mirror with a hairbrush, sing it, <laughs> surprise, surprise. And the other thing I absolutely loved doing was playing school. I know that sounds a bit sad. My mum and dad were teachers, but the part I loved was seeing other kids moving forward, telling them things and helping them to move forward. And it was just absolutely amazing. Mm. So those were the two things. So right from a very young age, I had a feeling that I was put on this earth either to entertain or to teach or do both. So that sort of stayed with me throughout my life. And even though I've had those twists and turns that people have had, something's always kept drawing me back to that. And I think that's one of the main things that I want to show is you should always follow your soul mm. and you'll get these nudges to keep bringing you back when you're on the right path, when you're on the wrong path. And then it's like, you know what to do. You know what you were born to do. So just go out there and do it. Don't have second thoughts. Don't listen to other people. So I'm all about getting people to really follow their intuition and live a really fun, full life because we're not here all that long. And we want to sort of maximize every moment, make the most of every moment mm -hmm. and really have fun and enjoy ourselves. And when we do that, everything changes. When we have fun, our bank balance increases, our health gets more vibrant, and it's all good. And once we start believing that, that's when our lives turn around. So that's the big message that I'm here to spread, I and think. I, I, I think it's a great, great message. I really do. And this is this is why I think that you and I were drawn to each other, because yeah. that's a very similar message to, to my own. Um, mm -hmm. you go through twists and turns and interestingly enough you said that you love to play schools I used yeah. to do that and I had a sister and I, yeah. I I used to like doing the things to get ready to play schools oh yeah getting all the, the pencils ready. And... I got all the bits yeah. and pieces ready all yeah. the lessons ready yeah and I ended up in in teaching 
um, and teaching in a way is also entertaining because you have to you have to be on you in your best flow all the time yeah. Um, yeah. And then my particular journey took me on a spiritual journey. I came away from teaching. But then yeah. anything I come across, I end up saying, I reckon I could teach people how to do that. It's just in me. And I, yes. and I see that it's in you as well, is that you love to teach and help others become the best that they can. So one of the things that it says uh, as well. that I've read about you is that you are the leader of the female business revolution. Yay, yeah. the revolution. Come on then, tell me yes. about that. <laughs> Viva la revolution. Viva la yeah. revolution. <laughs> so the female business revolution, um, I set that up um, mid, just before the lockdown last year. So it was in April 2020. And the reason for the revolution was I wanted to get these 40 preneurs because they are the people who I resonate with the most, the midlife female entrepreneurs. And I wanted to sort of get this revolution out there. And the revolution is all about changing the way that you do business so instead of doing it in a logical linear way mm -hmm. it was to do it tapping into their intuition mm -hmm. because we as women that's our best friend it's our most powerful tool yes, yeah. and there are so many women out there that are not using it properly and just listening to things that other people have said and you know you must do things in a logical way well no it doesn't always work if you follow your intuition you can get much bigger leaps forward than if you're just going through the motions day by day. Yeah. But the first thing to do is to be willing to open up and trust it. And that's the beginning of where the revolution is, to get these women really sort of opening up, you know, embracing any ideas that come in, following them without fear, or maybe not so much without fear, but following them and managing their fear. And trusting and trusting that it will yeah. be fine, that it will work out, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever you believe in, whatever faith you have, whether, whether it's just the universe or your God or whatever that might be, you yeah. know, is to is to trust that the the, mo the decision that you've made in that moment is the right decision and you have to go exactly. with it. And like yeah. you said, go with the fl flow and have fun with it. And then, yeah. like you say, when, you know, I found this myself, when you are totally in flow, things mm -hmm. happen very quickly yes you draw the right people to you mm -hmm. and like you say the bank balance starts going up yeah it does yes and yeah it's just magnetizing in all senses people get drawn to your energy they want to work with you mm. and yeah you're able to make that um monetary change and at the same time the big most important thing is you're transforming people mm. we're transforming women one life at a time, one business at a time. And that is so, so powerful. And getting the money as well is mm. our thank you for doing it. Yeah, that's right. And what you said about transforming transforming women is that they also transform others because yes. it has a knock-on effect. It is when, exactly. when we are our best, we actually give our best to other people without sacrificing ourselves either. Yeah. And they feel it. they feel that difference, don't they? You know, when yeah. someone is actually working in in that more um, sort of natural, intuitive state, rather mm -hmm. than in that that logical one. But put, but you and I have probably grown up in that that very much that man's world. So tell me, what did yeah. you do before you did the coaching? So before, funny enough, I was a teacher just like you. We may not have taught the same thing, but I became a teacher. It was just after my son's dad and I broke up. So there was just me and my son. Mm. And I thought, right, come on now, son, I've got to do something for you and me so that we can have a good life together. Mm. So then I went into my second passion, which was teaching. And I absolutely loved it because it's the same thing, as you said, seeing children have the light bulb moments. And the biggest thing I enjoyed when I was a teacher, I made a kid's orchestra from scratch a primary school orchestra from scratch wow. and we put it into the first competition and it won a silver medal and that was one of my moments oh, yes. I always say to people if somebody asks me one of the best things you've done in your life in that top five would be the kids orchestra because I absolutely loved doing that and the kids loved me as well loved working with me and it was really good fun because every Friday break time they wouldn't be rushing out to play. They'd all be rushing up the stairs with their instruments and there'd always be a queue outside the music group. And that was really, really touching for me as well. 
Yeah, so, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I just loved that. It was great. So that was where I spent the majority of my time. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. and then you went from teaching into coaching, did you? I mean, how did that I went from about? teaching. Yeah, I went from teaching into coaching. It's a funny thing because, um, you know, about these signs that people have. Mm -hmm. Like when I finished that teaching job, because I thought, right, I need a new challenge now, but I don't know what. And I was in this bookshop. And there was a book sticking out on the shelf and it was called Be Your Own Life Coach. <laughs> and I thought, I need to read that book. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, your mind kicks in and you go, nah. So I started walking out the shop mm -hmm. and then something went off in my head. No, go back and get the book. So I just read that book and I was hooked. So mm -hmm. then I went and signed up for um, a coaching course did my qualifications and like I was on that high momentum and I signed up four people straight after it yeah and I was like what I can't believe this is happening mm. and then that was just it things started going down because when I got to the end of their sessions mummy and daddy's voice start kicking in this oh. isn't a full-time job it's not yeah. gonna last and then get a proper job in. yeah get a proper job and then all the money started dwindling away Ooh. And it, this took me a few times to get this. It's only like mm. a couple of years since I've been getting it. So it's only like in my 50s. Mm. But I suppose it's a lesson in there as well, because when your energy is right, it doesn't matter what age you are. No. I mean, some people get it when they're 20. Other people keep going till they're 60 or 70. But when they get it, they get it. Yeah, yeah. Look, I've known a lot. I've known a lot of people. I've met. I've met um, young women um, mm. on my travels that are yeah. so wise. They have got such wise heads on their shoulders, and yeah. they have actually taught me a lot about things yeah. like your intuition, tapping into the intuition, surrendering that sort of thing. And then mm -hmm. I've also met women that are the same age as me, and women that are older who are embarking on their first business. You yeah. know, their first first dip of their toe into entrepreneurship and, wow you know in their 70s you've got to admire that you've absolutely yeah. got to admire that so definitely so you sound sound like you've got a northern accent is that where's that from manchester manchester yes manchester right yeah um so how do you how because i saw a live that you did and you were talking, yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't have time, but I could, I got the essence of it. And it said mm -hmm. to me that you had been in meditation and yes. that you, something had come to you and something yes. that you felt called to do. And yes. I heard you talk about music and of course yes. you, you talk music. So how are you bringing your music in to what you do with the ladies now? Right, so you might have seen one of my videos, which was my very own version of Do the Locomotion, but it was with <laughs> words to do with coaching. So yeah. don't mind me just saying this, Sonny. Ladies, if you haven't watched this, go on YouTube and watch it. It'll put a smile on your face. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling your energy going a little bit, go and watch that video and it'll get you back up again. And so I can, I can second that actually because because you sent it to me, didn't you? And I went and yeah. watched it and I just looked at it and I went, oh my God, that is so funny. She's as mad as a box of frogs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love thought, it. Yep, that's, that's the girl. And, I, and it was, it was lovely because, you know, it, it was a, it was a very, um, uh, it was it was pretty empowering to see you do that, you know, yeah. to do something really crazy. Have you thought about going on to TikTok? Are you using TikTok at all? Well, funny enough, Tara, who's on here watching, yeah. Yeah. she mentioned to me that I should go on to. She was really good. She sort of watched me doing the rehearsals of my video, and she was my sound guy almost. She was saying, "Right, you need a bit more sound. You need a bit more this. You need a bit more that." She helped me through the video. She was absolutely amazing, and I love her to bits. She's yeah. great. But um, what, what was I saying? Yeah, um, she told me about TikTok, so I put it on there. I've not had any likes yet, so if anyone's on there, please do like. That yeah. be that would mean a lot to me. Yes, yeah, but do but do some more of that sort of thing because that's exactly the type of thing that people really enjoy on TikTok. I mean, I'm not using TikTok myself, but um, yeah. you know, people are really enjoying that sort of thing. So going back to the question that I asked you, how are you bringing the music side of things into the coaching for these wonderful female entrepreneurs? 
Ah, right. Okay. Into the coaching itself. So we've got some things lined up. So we might be doing some group programs where I bring a lot of instruments in and let them all have a play, let them all sort of express their feelings in a spontaneous way without giving them like a set piece to learn. Mm -hmm. Just give them an instrument and let them explore a bit, let them have a bit of fun with the instruments. And then, you know, sometimes your feelings can come out with an instrument. So when you start playing, it's a really good stress reliever as well. Mm -hmm. And this can also be used at the beginning of a course. I mean, I might be introducing that at the beginning of a course before they all get warmed up to be in the right frame of mind. Have a little go on these instruments. Doesn't matter what it sounds like. Just play. Because when you're playing, you lift your vibe. You have yeah. fun. You yeah. forget about what else is going on. Music is a great uplifter, whatever you do. So that those are the things I'm thinking about, first of all. And then with individual clients, if I can use that somewhere, if I feel that it would help them, if, if I'm being intuitively drawn to say, right, we need a little bit of music um, help here, mm. they can use an instrument and that can help them maybe get through a block. That could even help them get through a block. Mm. It could be a relief, a release as well. So, yes. you know, yeah. there's all sorts of options. This is just like the beginning part of this because this is just like out the meditation mm. a couple of days ago so it's all very exciting and new yes. but I can see a lot of potential in that and that can make a lot of uniqueness too and everybody loves music so it's a no-brainer yeah of course of course and also with the music you know you feel like moving you want to dance and dancing actually gets a lot of the en rid of the sort of stagnant energy you know if I've been sitting at the computer for a long time um, yeah. you know, my partner he will often put music on and I sit there even if it's just moving my oh, shoulders it just, makes it, it just kind of renews my energy gives me more energy yeah. to do that um, does. so, so um, you, you said that you've got some things coming up um, yeah do you want to tell our ladies what you've actually got coming up? Because it sounds to me like, are they face-to-face -face, um, events that you've got going on or are they online or how are they working? Right. At the moment, there's no face-to-face, -face, but on online, we have our eight-week programme, which is called Intuitive Income. And the way that people come in is um, they start with this eight-week programme. And it's an online programme. It's in a group. And the aim of the program is once you've done this, your mindset towards money will have totally transformed and you will also see a difference in your bank balance. And that's so important for, say, one group of women who are feeling stuck and they're at a level and they can't push past that level. They need to know what to do. This will open them right up and this will give them ideas and opportunities and things that never happened before. So it's a really, really good way of helping to do something fast and effectively. And then for the other groups of women who are thinking, right, now I'm at that shift where I want to do something really big. I've been playing at this level, but now all of a sudden I'm getting these messages saying I've got to move up to that next level. This is perfect for helping them to generate the funds, say, to go on those courses, to set up new projects, anything they want to do. This is a really good gateway for them. If they're looking for more money, this is where they should be. So that's the first thing. So it's an eight-week course, and um, you get a video training every week. It's all in the group. And when you're in a group, of course, it 10x is the energy. It's all exciting because people in there, they're on similar journeys, and you're all encouraging each other egging each other on and um, you get a workbook every week with the live and then every person gets one hour access to me and what I normally do in that one hour is we go dig deep and we dig fast and we get rid of those blocks that are stopping them from getting where they want to go so it's not coming over and over and over again mm. they're smashing it we're getting to the root of the problem. So that is the main thing that I've got coming up. Mm -hmm. I also have spaces in my diary for people who can't commit to a course. I also do timeline therapy as I'm a, a master prac NLP as well. Who, so, who did you do your work with? The What, the NLP? Yeah. It was a guy called Ian Webster from Liverpool. His company's called Achieve. 
Mm. And his claim to fame was that he hypnotised Paul McKenna. (laughs) Yeah, and Ian actually learned with Bandler. So we know he's the real deal. Yeah, I did did my training with Bandler and McKenna. Oh, wow, how amazing. I know, I know. It was was actually, I have to say, and I, and I, I should actually do do some lives on some of this stuff because it, mm. it's, it was the time that my life changed the most wow yeah See? It, yeah we go we all go through different changes and yeah. what happened just very very quickly because i'm i don't want to take the spotlight off of you because i've got loads of questions i still want to ask you <laughs> yeah uh, cool. but very quickly i read a book and it was paul mckenna's change your life in seven days Mm-hmm. And I went through this book, and quite unusually for me, I actually did all of the exercises. It's, it's Each chapter has its own exercise. I did all of the exercises, and I wrote down lots of things. And mm-hmm. I realized in that moment that I was, I was running a very successful training company at the time, but I wasn't very happy with it. I wasn't happy with my life the way that it was. And I, mm-hmm. I remember finishing the book, and I just went, I'm going to work with this guy one day. I'm just going to work yeah. with this guy and then I turned over the next page the very last one and it said to work with Paul McKenna ring this number wow and I went oh that's weird so I rang the number and it was obviously salespeople getting you into the NLP course so yeah. I signed up straight away I went and did the NLP course and mm-hmm. then I then I actually said to myself I'm going to be up on that stage now bearing in mind this room was full of about 5,000 people, okay? Yeah. And I said, I'm going to be up on that stage. And on the Thursday, the, the course started on the uh, Friday. And yeah. then on the thir- following Thursday, it was what they call Phobia Day. And mm-hmm. I ended up being the one on the stage doing the spider th- phobia. So I ended oh, up wow. having a tarantula walking across my hands. <laughs> oh, my God. It was absolutely wow. amazing. Then the other thing that I said to myself is, I am definitely going to work with this guy. Yeah. Was, I think Richard Bandler was on stage or something. I popped out to the loo. And who should be standing in reception but Paul McKenna? <laughs> oh, my God. So I went, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. It's Paul McKenna, it's Paul McKenna, it's Paul McKenna. I'm going to have to speak to him. I'm going to have to... No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yes, I will, yes, yeah. I will, yes, I will. So I did. I went over and spoke to him. And I mm-hmm. said, oh, I think you're amazing. And I really want to find out how I can work with you. And he went, yeah. oh, just go and speak to one of my guys, Kevin. He'll sort you out. When I saw Kevin, I was on his team. <laughs> wow, that's brilliant. What a yeah. story. It was, And it really changed my life. It t- totally and utterly. I mean, there's loads more stories to tell, but it, it utterly changed my life. So I know how yeah. powerful NLP actually is. Yes. It's absolutely 100%. amazing. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Now, what I would like for you to do is give me three tips that you could give to the ladies to help them through their money blocks. Right. Okay. So the first one is get your journal out. So if you've never journaled before, um, pen and paper, and then think about what you believe about money what's your limiting belief? So write it down. So it could be something like, um, I can't earn more money than my husband. Or it could be something like, um, I'm not worthy of lots of money. Or it could be something like, if I have lots of money, then I might lose it. So write down the belief, and then you go through a series of questions. So you'd ask yourself, um, where did that belief come from? So cast your mind back to the first time you ever believed that. Where was it? When was it? And then go back to that scenario and think about it right now. And then take yourself out of yourself there and then think, okay, what am I supposed to learn from this? Is this a true belief? And then nine times out of 10, you'll find it's not a true belief. There's a lesson there and you write down the lesson to take Mm. away with you. And then following on from there, you can talk about things like, and um, what's this belief costing me? Because sometimes those beliefs could actually be costing you thousands of pounds a month. Mm. So, for instance, if you're getting to the edge of a sale and you're just about to close and your fear takes over, and that could be a couple of grand, Mm-mm. you've lost that money for your month. Someone else has had money that you were entitled to. Mm. Yeah. And then going into your inbox talking to people, following up, 
how many times have you ever thought, oh, I won't do this one. I, th I think they're a bit like too far away from me right now. Yeah. I won't bother with them. So you leave them. Yeah. Then that's more money gone. Yeah. And if you sit and you add all that money up, this, this is probably now going on to the second one. If you sit and you add all that money up, mm. nine times out of ten, that will give you quite a shock. Mm. So that will then open you up and you'll say, right, I'm not giving somebody else my money. I'm not leaving money on the table. That's for me. Mm. And then, you know, even... buy you out for it could you take the kids out for a nice meal could you buy a nice new pair of shoes could you have a couple of treatments think of what that money would mean to you and it makes that much more sense yeah absolutely absolutely in fact um funnily enough i had two beliefs that i grew up with they're, they're yeah. gone now for sure um but my yeah. two beliefs were you have to ha work hard for a living yeah that was one and then the mm -hmm. other one was um the rich the, the people that are rich have actually walked all over people to get there. Yes. <laughs> so many people say that, don't they? Yeah, rich yeah. people are untrustworthy. And That's that is right. so rubbish. So you look untrue. At all those rich, yeah, you look at all those rich people who are like helping orphanages, building different places, giving mm. to charities. It's exactly. Bull, guys. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, exactly. So that's so. Number one is to to journal all your money beliefs yep. and number, to actually question yourself on those beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Number, number two, two is, is to work out what is all that money. Yep. Yep. And then number three is to just start trusting your intuition. Just start opening up to it. So quiet in your mind. Mm -hmm. Say for ten minutes a day. Mm. And then asking your inner self, say to yourself something like, okay, how can I get more money? Mm -hmm. And you may get an answer straight away or you may not. If you don't, mm. don't worry about it because it will come through the day. You might be washing the dishes or driving somewhere and all of a sudden you think, oh, I need mm. to do that. Yes. And yeah. when that light bulb comes, mm. you have to act on it as fast as you can mm. straight away or as soon as you get home, to keep that momentum going. Because what that does is it sets off a chain of events. And then you follow that on, you get something else to take you further, and it goes on and on and on and on until you get where you want to go. And doing it that way, opening up, feeling and following, is a much more effective way than racking your brains, thinking, doing everything in a logical order, thinking, ah, that won't work. It doesn't make any sense. It's not all about sense. It's yes. about your feelings. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You've yes. got to go with your feelings. And one of the things that you said right at the beginning is, you know, it's a cliche thing to say life is too short. You've got to, you know, life is too short. We used to say it for a different reason. Now life is too short because you never know when we're all going to get locked down. So you've yes. got to enjoy life while you can. Make yes. the most of it. Be yes. the best that you can be all the time. And if you mm -hmm. feel that you need to to explore a business, a, a, a path, then go and explore it and see what happens. Yes. Because the most extraordinary things can always happen. And everything that we do is always a lesson. Now, I'm going to do some quick fire questions to you now. Yeah. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. What is your favorite word? Love. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, this is a weird one. What are, what are you not very good at? Being organised. <laughs> Love it. That, that's something I have to work at. Yeah. It's not something that comes to me naturally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you had one superpower, what would it be? One superpower. I would develop the one I've already got, which is my inner vision. So I'd be able to see right into people's problems and help them. Nice. I like that. If mm -hmm. you were a type of food, what type of food would you be? Sushi. Raw and powerful. Oh, I like that. Mm. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay. If you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would you choose? Oh, that's a funny one. There's, there's so many people. 
really, if I could switch lives with someone for a day, it would be, um, it'd probably be someone like Gabby Bernstein. I'd like to be her for a day. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, I like what she does. She's very spiritual and successful. Mm -hmm. And she's one of she's one of my people that I follow. Mm -hmm. So it could or, or maybe Marie Folio. Oh, that yeah. could be another one. Yeah, she's amazing, isn't she? Have you seen her dancing lately? Lately, no. I saw her at very early videos of her when she used to do working out when she used to be a workout teacher many years ago ah. before she started all that yeah. personal development. She started uh, she started doing some dancing videos, really sort of funky dancing videos just lately they're on instagram so you should go and check her out okay oh, so here's, here's a lovely question for you and this is a mm. question that was asked of me when i was being interviewed by a lovely lady called carolyn williams and yeah. this was her last question to me where is your happy place right here in my home oh that's wonderful that's wonderful yeah love that okay so what is it that you would like for your for our audience to do? How do they get in touch touch with you? You've talked about the eight week program, um, and you've talked about the spaces in your diary as well. So to get in touch with you, what do they need to do? Okay, so they can message me on my DMs, which is Helen Louise Adams on Facebook, or if they want to check out all my links and then come through that way, I'm on Linktree. So it's linktr. Dot e forward slash Helen Louise Adams. All right, so great. all the links are on there. So either DM me or go on to my link tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with your um, link tree, that's a great place to go. After the yeah. video is finished, will you go in the comments and put yeah. all of those links in for us and then people can yeah. get access to you very quickly and easily. Um, so, I mean, the link tree is brilliant, I, but I, don't, I didn't see your link tree on your, on your profile. Oh, interesting. Right. Okay. Mm. I'll um, be updating that very shortly. Do. Because it. Well, you know where on your Facebook profile, um, you yes. can change your um, information and there is a In place where you can put your website, use that as your website. Um, and then, of course everyone can go to the link tree and you can just put it in the words at the top as well in your bio which would be brilliant you should do that fantastic yeah right. i should yeah. go and do that now and i should put all those links in and i'll also put in the if somebody's um drawn to that eight week program i'll put the link to the lead page straight away so that they can go and have a look that's fantastic. Yes, I'd like to have a look at that. So what I'd like to say is, first of all, thank you very much to everybody that came on live. Yes, do smash some more hearts for us. That's amazing. So we're getting some lovely hearts being smashed there. Thank you. Um, and everybody that comes in on the replay, please actually put down that you're on the replay and where you're coming in from. If you've got any questions for Helen, you can obviously either ask on the comments below or go to one of her links or to her personal profile and ask those questions. Or of course, in our amazing group, Group that really is getting a very very beautiful energy funnily enough i had intuition about that i just this group was something else and i knew that i had to change it and i knew i had to do something different and just in the last two weeks the energy of the group is just absolutely changed totally changed and i know and i knew intuitively that i had to do these interviews and you are number let's see let's see what number you are number 13 Wow. Do you know what? That's so weird because my house number is 113. Right. Yeah. And also, Tara and I, we were having a chat about the number 13. And a lot of people say it's unlucky, but also in the pagan tradition, it's a very lucky number. And yes. other people consider it lucky too. So I'm going with lucky 13. I'm going with lucky 13 as well because it was very lucky for me to find you. Very lucky for me to interview you. It was absolutely my pleasure. And, and I'd like to say thank you very much, Helen, for coming along tonight. Oh, you're so welcome, Sonny. It's been a real honour. And thank you to all you lovely ladies watching too. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.